wherever you're fixing your tiles, eventually you're bound to come across an obstruction or unusual shape to tile around. A pipe, a basin pedestal, an architrave, or a curved edge to a wall or floor all require the right techniques to make sure you get exactly the right shape on your tiling. When cutting tiles, there is always a risk of a cut or a shard flying off, so always wear gloves and close fitting goggles. For more guidance on making straight cuts and cutting L shapes in tiles, see our film How to Cut Tiles. Probably the most common obstacle is a pipe. You might have a pipe running through the wall or from the floor to your radiator. Let's start with a pipe that comes out of the wall. If you're lucky, then the pipe will fall on the joint between two tiles. But if not, and it occurs within one whole tile, then you'll either have to cut the tile in two and make semicircles in each half, or if the pipe is near the edge of a tile, cut a U-shape in the tile. You'll need to mark up your tile ready for cutting into two pieces if you're going to tile around a pipe. First, tile up as close as you can to the pipe using whole tiles. Then take the tile that is to be cut and use a tile marker to mark the centre of the pipe in one direction. Then mark the centre of the pipe in the other direction. There are now two options. You could cut the hole first using a power drill and diamond edge hole saw. To avoid the drill bit slipping while drilling holes into ceramic tiles, lay a piece of masking tape over the markings. First, drill the hole and then score the tile and snap it in two like this. The tile is now ready for fixing in place. The other option is to cut the tile into two pieces first and fit it around the obstacle by cutting a semicircle in each half. First, mark the outside pipe diameter onto the tile using the point where the two lines cross as a center point. Then score the tile and snap it into two pieces. It doesn't matter which line you cut the tile on. Once the tile is in two pieces, each semicircle can be cut using a suitable tool such as tile nippers to nibble away small pieces of tile at a time. Or you can cut out the semicircles using a basic tile saw. It's important that the tile is held firmly or clamped to a bench or held in a soft jawed vise while you're cutting it. Now we've cut the tile, let's check the two halves fit snugly around the pipe. And if they do, fix the tile in position. You should find that the joint between the two tiles is almost invisible. Any small gaps will be filled at the grouting stage, so don't worry about these. You can also get pipe collars like these to enhance the area where pipes enter the room from the wall or floor. They'll give you a nice tidy finish. You don't need to use any tools or glue as they have a simple snap fit one piece design. The collars are available in white and chrome finishes and come in different sizes. To tile around pipes that protrude out of the floor near to the wall, you could use the following method. With your marked up tile, use a core drill bit to cut the hole. Then using the tile saw, cut two parallel lines from the edge of the tile to the hole and then remove this piece. When you then fit the tile, the piece can be reinserted behind the pipes to make a flush finish around the obstruction. To tile around larger irregular obstacles like architraves, toilets or the base of a pedestal, you'll have to make a template. Let's assume you have tiled up to and around the obstacle with whole uncut tiles beforehand. Take some thin cardboard and accurately cut it to the size of a single tile Place the cardboard where the first tile to be cut will sit, taking into account the spacer between the tiles. 
Make a series of cuts into the cardboard and then make small flaps around it. Trim the flaps and fold them in around the pedestal. Using a felt tip pen, mark the bottom of the pedestal. Then cut the flaps along the line. Before you transfer these marks to a tile, check again that your template is exactly the right size. Once you're happy, use a tile marker to trace the shape of the pedestal onto the tile to be cut. Another way of marking up a tile that needs to be fitted around an awkward shape is to use a template shaping tool. These are sometimes called profile gauges. The tool is made up of lots of movable fingers that are held together in the frame. You can create a template for a complex shape like an architrave by pressing the tile shaping template against it. The fingers move to fit the shape of the architrave and form a template that can be used to mark up the tile. Cut the tile with a jigsaw fitted with a tile cutting blade like this. You could use an electric multi-tool fitted with a tile cutting bit or with a basic tile saw. Don't forget, it's important that the tile is held firmly clamped to a bench or held in a soft jawed vise while it's being cut. Another option is to snip out the tile to the required shape with tile nippers. Don't forget to always make sure that you wear gloves, goggles and a dust mask. Once cut, check that the tile is the right size by trying it out in the space and neaten it up if necessary using tile nippers and a tile fart. Then fix it in place. After grouting, you should fill the gap between the tile and the pedestal with a sanitary grade silicon sealant as the pedestal might move slightly when the basin is used. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.